Phil, how excited are you to be a head coach at the inaugural CCM USA Hockey All-American Prospects game? Well, I'm very excited to be the first uh, ever coach of the All-American Prospects game. I think it's going to be a great venue for years to come, and uh, it gets to showcase the young talent that's draft eligible for next year. So I'm quite excited to get back to Buffalo. Yeah, you have a great history with the city of Buffalo. What are you looking forward to as you return to the place where the NHL career began? Well, hopefully there's an NHL season going on, but... Uh, uh, I'm really excited just to see the family and friends. It's always a great sports town. You know, when I played there in the 80s, Jim Kelly and the Buffalo Bills were an exciting team to watch. And uh, just the sports fans in general, uh, they really support their teams there. So it's going to be great to get back there. Another Minnesotan will be on the other bench coaching. Rob McClanahan will be there. What's your relationship with Rob? Well, I've known Rob for quite a long time. Everybody knows he was part of the 1980 Olympic team. So, you know, I really respect Rob. I respect my elders. However, when the puck drops, it's competition at its best, and I want our team to win. How familiar are you with the players attending the game, specifically those you'll be coaching? Well, I think uh, there's a lot of young talent that I don't have a lot of familiarity with, but, uh, you know, Seth Jones, who I believe is on the other team and Rob's team, is, uh, is part of the World Junior Camp this year in Lake Placid and has an excellent chance to make the team. Uh, also, I know there's uh, three or four kids from the Buffalo area, so it's going to be exciting to see them, and I know they're excited to play in Buffalo. How impressed are you with the quality of amateur hockey being played across the United States as compared to when you played? Well, I think the talent level in the United States is, it continues to grow. You can see it in the NHL, the percentage of players, uh, the and National Development Program in Ann Arbor has done a terrific job, started in 1996, and uh, they've produced a lot of first-rounders, and there's a lot of kids that go to Division I hockey. So uh, getting back to your question, I think the overall talent, and you can see these kids from coming from different areas of, of the United States, even down in Texas and Arizona. So. Uh, the coaching's a lot better than it was uh, when I grew up, so that's why you're having that average player getting better, and it's bringing the quality of the players uh, to the colleges and, and the professional ranks. 